You could call them an antisocial amphibian. They are very secretive. These guys, the spotted salamanders, spend most of their time under leaf litter, in tunnels in the ground. Until that one time of year when a warm spring rain really starts amazing. to fall, the spotted salamanders start to move. We actually saw um, some of the migrations happening in the last few days when we had that kind of rain before it turned to snow. These little guys emerge from underground ready to reproduce, but many are finding a big obstacle in their path. As they're in these large numbers traveling to get to these breeding ponds, they are getting squished by cars. Try this on for size, SUV versus salamander. These guys are only six to eight inches long and no match for one of us driving down the road. Very small, fairly dark. Yeah, a lot of times you don't notice them until you've probably heard them. Please stop uh, if they have to and they can help them across the road. Environmentalists have come up with some solutions, including tunnels that run under roadways that provide a safe crossing for the salamanders. But still, many will find their way onto the roads. During the next few weeks, they are going to be migrating, moving from uh, underneath logs and leaves across the roadways looking for water pools and we want them to get there safely. The salamanders are protected under state law and are a big resource for the DEC. They can tell officials if something is going wrong with the environment. It's one of our natural resources and we should protect our natural resources here in New York State and that's what we're here for.